It is I, Epic Couchies, the Mad Villager. Welcome to Episode 7 of World Expansion. This is an extreme mode custom survival map made by JustCamH. Uh, link in the description. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that. As you can see, the world is constantly... Well, I, gu I guess you can't see it generating, but it does. This was a lot smaller before, and we have just random blocks pretty much everywhere. There's, like, structures that spawn with, like, spawners, like, one up there, and there's a, a, an end, end portal. Let's see, I was getting a little nervous because down here we have, uh, if you hear the sounds, oh, ghasts, let's go inside. Uh, down here we have the sounds of them, oh, well, that's a nice gas carpet. That's <laughs> nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a ghast in our house. Get out of here, ghast. All right, there's the sounds of it generating, so I hope it doesn't hit our house and, like, delete blocks. And, uh, there's creepers, like, spawning below us because the generation struck items, like, got closer than they really feel really, really comfortable with. Got it. Now, yeah, see, there's, there's blocks spawning in. You can see them. And move streams. Get out of here. And, uh, some of that stuff wasn't here before. Look, there's some diamonds. Let's go grab those. I'm already distracted. I actually have a goal for this episode. There's two things. First, there's one, uh, one more suggestion. We're gonna follow and do that. And then, we're gonna build a mob spawner today. I worked really hard. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Shh. Ooh, you lit the mushroom on fire. I worked really hard, and I mined a lot of cobble, and I'll show you how much I really got. Uh, so we should have enough to build most of the mob spawner today. Probably all of it, but I don't want to say that, because if I'm wrong, then I'll be sad. Okay, let's... Let's dig back in. There we go. That's probably fine. We'll just leave that hole. Here is all of our cobblestone inside here, this little room. I got a lot of cobblestone. We're going to take it all. And put this diamond away. I picked up one more diamond and also a blaze rod. Like, five minutes ago before I started the recording. Man, I just really hope that doesn't break our blocks. I think there must be something that prevents it from replacing other blocks, so we'll probably be okay, but... So, let's start. I want it to build off this side because it's pretty tall. So, to start, we can make some floor blocks out of slabs because they, uh, they're they more efficient use for horizontal space. That's what I mean, yep. And actually, yeah, there we go. I'm going to start with three out this way to make the, like the base of our platform thing. Then I actually need a large one, full block there. Because <clears throat> inside, I want one that's lower like this. And I'll ex that, that will make sense why in a second. So it'll be a little bit off-centered because this is a multiple of three. And I guess we can like put fern eye along this whole wall to make it look too look symmetrical. Anyway, here's this. Now, this is the beginning of the mobs. This is the, the mobs will spawn on, like, they'll drop down into this spot. So then we need a second one. So the reason we have these slabs here is so that we can stand here and hit the feet of the mobs. Um, then I'm just going to go around. Another benefit to using the slabs is that the mobs won't spawn. on top of the slabs, so we don't necessarily need to light it up, that we do, and speaking of lighting up, let's follow that suggestion, I forgot again. Uh, they said to light up the farm so it grows at night time, so we're going to do that. Here's our farm. <gasps> hey, the sapling grew! Nice. Okay, we'll grab that later. Actually, we should grab it now, because then we can... Uh, let's put a torch here, and light down here, so that now this, the things will grow at night time, and we also won't get mobs spawning on our roof, which would probably be okay, because we're, we're pretty strong here, got our diamond armor and our sharpness one sword. Let's get, let's make an axe. And I'm only going to bother making a stone axe because there's not really much point. There's an axe. Do, do, do. We can chop down this tree. We like, actually have wood now. Uh, 
Alrighty, so now we got a lot of wood, and hopefully that drops at least one sapling. We'll be within range, so I'll come back and grab those in like three minutes. Um, back to the mob farm. Basically, this is just going to be a big platform like up there that spawns mobs. They get trapped into like a flowing water and drop them on this spot. So let's take the cobblestone. Actually, I need the slabs in this spot. Here we go. Expand this a little bit more around the edges so that we have a little more space to walk. Oh, hey, Enderman. Oh, man. Yeah, creepers, I really, really hope nothing blows up our house. And if it does blow up our house, I just really, really hope it doesn't hurt our chests. Because a lot of that stuff was really hard to get to. Um, so now the next step is, for now, on the back, we need this. This is the stop, the block here. It needs to go 22 blocks up that direction. It's not exactly 22, but 22 is close enough. We're going to have to hit them with, like, stone stores, but that'll weaken them enough that it'll be really easy. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, boy. We're really high up now. So that's the 22 block drop. That means that if I had no armor on and I fell down there, I'd be really close to one heart. Which means... I'm... You know... Now I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't really go down, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to test that, you know? Uh, we can toss this one's stake off, just in case. See? Like this. Just exactly that. One half heart, and I didn't even die. That's good. Now let's put the armor back on. And uh, let's grab a water bucket, and we can put a water bucket in there, so that when we jump off, we don't die. So we only have, both our buckets are filled with lava, so I'm going to take some cobblestone and build a little, like this. And, uh, I burned a torch. Nice me. Fill these up with water. We'll keep those lava buckets just safe right there. And uh, we can just put the water in here. I think I can hit that. Oh boy. Gasts are loud. Okay, so now we need the next one. one. Well, I guess we can just tower up to the same spot. Let's make that thing bigger. Now I won't probably fall and die. Okay, so this is part of our dropping spot. So we just want to take these. Let's just do two at a time. First stack of cobblestone. We just have to bring all these up to the 22 block height so that we have a most efficient method of killing them. Now we're going to drop down again. We can do these too. And those gas are loud and annoying. And just annoying. That's pretty much all they are. But we have some arrows and a bow, so if they mess with us. Well, they won't mess with us because they know we have a bow, I'm sure. Right, Mr. Gast? Just don't mess with me. None of us have to get hurt. There we go. So now we need the last two, which go... Did I do this? No, I didn't do this wrong. Okay, they go in these spots. Let me pick up these buckets of water and put them somewhere else. Okay, that's okay. So these, this is where we're standing. This is where we have to tower up, and then we'll drop down and we'll clean up a little bit of the bottom stuff to make it more sense. Did we get any saplings from that? I hope we did. Nope, it looks like we didn't get any saplings. Oh well, a bunch of them probably fell off the edge. Maybe we'll move the next sapling over a bit. 
Alright, so here's this. We have this drop now that is where they, they drop down. We need to clean up the bottom. Oh, well, now I can't. Okay. That's fine for now. My pick. Let's fill this up. I don't need all this water. There we go. Okay, so we can take this. And clean up this area so that we have a spawning spot. And uh, I realized we actually, to do this right, we need to put slabs here. <clears throat> so we can, ah. Just, just, eat. I don't need that anymore. I have one. Well, let's grab a bunch more slabs. Alright, so. Put these here so that you can walk underneath it. And then these should go all around. There we go. And uh, I'll, I'll replace these ones with slabs later, probably. So now we also want to get some ladders. Good thing we have tons of wood now. So let's just turn all these into planks. And probably... Most of them into ladders. We need 22 ladders, so... I think that's going to take all of it up. Oh, wow. Alright, I hope you guys don't mind. I am tired of listening to those ghasts. I will despawn them for a little while. Hmm. We need more wood. Here's a little bit more wood. Guess we can use a staircase near the top, but... There's 21. That's enough. We're okay now. Because we need a ladder to get to the top so that we can like actually deal with this this madness. And so I'm going to fill in these two to act as the ladder block. We'll skip one. Now we can just climb up and down the ladder. We don't have to jump off. Though that is faster. I'll probably put water at the bottom anyways. Oh, hey! Well, okay, and now he's dead down there. Fine by me. So the next step is we need to take this out. Oh, boy. See, I forgot again what I'm supposed to do here. One, two, three, four, five. I believe seven is right, but I'm going to test that right now so that we know. You can test that just by... You need to make a channel so that it doesn't flow. Do do. Okay, so now we're gonna put our water bucket here. Okay, so it does flow off the edge. That means we need it back further. Put it here now, and see it reaches just barely the edge, so that we'll have channels of water, and then they'll reach the end and fall down into the pit. But we don't need the water here right now. We just have to make the a square platform that's this length now. And hey, this mob spawner is actually really close, so maybe we'll uh, incorporate it onto this mob spawner, like siphon all the wither skeletons over into the same spot. That'll be a cool project. But for now, we're just going to build one that uh, spawns them the, the natural way. And then, I mean, there's one over there. We do that too. Okay. So now we've got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it needs to be eight out from the the pit. So including this block. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're just building a big platform. This one can't be out of slabs because we need the mobs to spawn on this one. But we'll build the roof out of slabs. Because then we won't have mobs on the roof. Which is good. Though it's not like it hurt it doesn't hurt it. But the less spawn platforms there are for places for mobs to spawn on, the uh, more that they'll go into a particular spot that is good. Like typically, one block in the middle of a void wouldn't actually spawn things on them because it's not a large enough area, but because there's no other better spot to, for them to spawn, they do. 
then during the day this thing will probably work really great because there's no mainland and so like this is literally the only spot on pretty much the entire world during the day where mobs could spawn and so we'll get like every mob in the entire world in one spot I'm actually a little scared of mobs spawning while we build this Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Alrighty. And it doesn't actually have to be the whole thing. So if I'm looking like we're running out of low on cobblestone, we may just build half of it for now and then like wall it off. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. That's not what I wanted at all. Then we can just outline the wall for now so that I know where it is. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should work. Do, 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 do. It looks like this is going to use a lot more cobblestone than I thought, so I might need another chest of cobblestone to properly finish it, but we'll see. We'll begin the walls for part of it and then figure that. Slabs are a lot more efficient use of blocks, so we might be okay. When we build the ceiling, I mean. <clears throat> Do -do. So this mob farm will probably be very nice, especially if it like works properly and I don't break it like we did the cobblestone generator. Sorry, I said we. I totally just broke that on my own. You had no part in that. Uh, because we can get, first of all, more bones to like grow stuff and more arrows for our bow I guess rotten flesh is okay but maybe we'll get iron from the zombies or more potatoes carrots armor we can pick up armor so then uh, we'll make it three blocks tall wait no. okay so there, there's this will make it three blocks tall which means it can spawn endermen which will, based on the way we're moving them, will react to the water, but they might teleport down and then we can kill them. Plus, if they're too slow, then, hey, they could still die. Doo -doo. So I'm building this part of the wall. There's another half of this platform. We have to extend it that direction, the same way we did this side. But I'm afraid we'll run out of cobblestone, so we'll just build part of it for now. Uh, let's build the roof on this and then decide, because I think we're okay, actually. So we're building the roof out of slabs for two reasons. First of all, it's more efficient. And second of all, uh, it won't spawn other mobs here, which are unpleasant for us. So I'm just going to line this part with slabs first. So that uh, it's easier to build the roof when we get there. Dude. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Give me those. Okay, so... Now we need more slabs. Ow. So this is our ladder block. Alrighty. Let's go make more slabs. And, you know, I'll just bring the uh, crafting table up with us so that we can... Craft slab when we're up there. Is there a spider around here? I heard it. It must be underneath us where all those new blocks were spawning. We'll have to check it out. Maybe more diamonds, like, spawn just right next to our house. Yes, this ladder is a lot nicer and safer than what we had before, isn't it? Nom nom nom. Melons. Uh, right here. We're going to need a lot of slabs, so I'm just going to do that for now. And we can put these in. This helps keep it dark as well. That's why we need the roof. And it won't spawn mobs on top, which is good too. see here. Oh, I never finished this part. Let's go over here then. There we go. And the slabs are a lot harder to place because they're smaller. See, it's funny how in Minecraft you think, oh, I have a whole, like, chest full of blocks. That's a lot of blocks. And how, uh, that, that'll totally be enough to like build the whole thing, but turns out like 
you actually can't build that much with a whole stack. If you think about it, it's only an 8x8 platform that you're building out of cobblestone. Like, this is like a stack of cobblestone. From this corner to this corner in a rectangle shape. So then you're doing that on the walls, and you're really using a lot more materials than you think you are when you build a project. Okay, now we need another stack of those. Excellent. Now let's make sure not to fall in this hole. I think, uh, I don't think I'll bother to cover it up. But I'll hold shift so that I don't have that issue, and I will also cover the hole first with the roof. Because there's the hole. I just passed it. And now we won't have to go into the hole again. There we go. We finished that part. We can keep just expanding this. Cover up the roof. I think I brought enough torches we can light this up until we're done. Though, because we're so close, it probably won't spawn inside while we're working on it. But I also don't want to, like, bet my life on that. My Minecraft life. I definitely wouldn't bet my real life on that. So, yeah, I think we have enough cobblestone. I think we can finish the whole thing. So let's go to this block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and so you see the cows down there too. Well, okay, there was a cow. There's a mushroom over there. Uh, we would. It'd be good if we could like transport some of them over. And hey, look a diamond and some gold. Guess when we're done, we'll have to jump to over there and pick up some of that stuff, like the sheep's build an animal farm. Cause why not? I mean, the ultimate goal of this map is to go to the nether, but we're not really going to do that until we actually have, like, consistent equipment and enchanted armor and stuff. And so an XP, like, mob grinder like this is a really good option to go, even if we probably don't need to, like, build all the farms, just a cow farm so that we can get leather for books. Uh, then some farms will be necessary so we can get the equipment. And technically, guys, the series could the series could go on after we beat the Ender Dragon, but that's really up to you if you guys keep liking the series after that. Oh. So now... Uh, wait, what's wrong with me? That's not what I wanted to do at all. I don't need these ones here. We have to keep expanding. There we go. Okay, so let's finish up this section. It's the floor section here. Yeah, so I'm pretty good at Minecraft, but I haven't actually fought the Ender Dragon that many times. And this is a custom Ender Dragon fight, so I'm a little paranoid about how much stuff I might need to bring. But we might try it, like, in a few episodes without having, like, high-tech max equipment. Just to see if, oh, maybe it's easier than I thought. Pretty much every time I have fought the Ender Dragon legitimately on survival, I have, like, max enchanted diamond gear, and then I go in and it's, like, killing a slime. But, you know, I don't know. And then I also, I also find that, uh, when I watch people fight the Ender Dragon, it's usually a lot funnier if they don't have much stuff because then they die all the time. I don't want to die all the time, but if it's funnier to you guys, then uh, you can tell me to go in right now, and I might. But we don't have Eyes of Ender yet. It's actually kind of funny on that aspect of uh, when you're recording. I typically take more risks. You might not notice because I don't take many risks on video either, but... Like, normally I would save these diamonds to the armor, but... I'm recording, and it makes it a little bit more interesting. And of course, it, I, it's, a, it's a practical thing too, because... Even if I wouldn't normally use those diamonds 
for that armor. I also wouldn't use it for anything else, and so I might as well just might as well just make diamond armor because I'm not going to use it. Like I have so many survival worlds with like 50 diamonds that I just didn't use because I don't make armor. But this has keep inventory on as well, so that makes it a lot nicer for like expensive things to keep. Just so now we fill in more of the roof. We're really close to done except for the water. Uh, we have to put the water in too. See how fast I can do this. Wow, that's a lot faster than what I was doing. Okay, so now we have one row left. How am I keep missing? Doop. And now it's really dark in here except for this hole. Oh, I don't even know if you guys can see. Let me find some torches. There we go. I can put some torches around for now. Okay, let's grab this last slab. Now we've got the darkness. We need a few things. Oh, we actually still need the slabs. So the next step is we take slabs and we put them like this. This is where the water channel goes. Oh. Come up with something better for that. There we go. And uh, we'll also need to get more water, because I only have one water. But we can put the slabs and then go get water. Basically, then we put water in these two spots on each one, and we have these four rows of water that go into the, the space. And then this space, mobs spawn on and walk over the slabs. And because they're on half blocks, they don't detect that the water's next. And so then they step in the water, and they just stand here and get stuck and fall into the pit. I don't understand how, like, it makes sense that it would work, that, like, mobs would get stuck on that. But I've built this before, and it does work, so... You know, whatever. I won't question the 1.8 AIs. Probably won't work in 1.9, but... What would I know? So, let's see here. Oh, hey, look, the skelly down there. Okay, I'm gonna put some water. That should be okay. So that we don't drown. Hey, hey, where did you... What the heck? Oh, hey, you swam up there. Okay. And now there's a bunch of zombies down here, too. Great. Did I... I grabbed the water. It's just so slow coming down. Okay, fine. We'll wait for it to finish so that we don't uh, have water flooding around all over the place. The reason this is a 2x2 two two is, even though most mobs fit in a smaller space, is mostly just because. Like, you see how much mobs... Uh-oh. Mob griefing. Not good. Even with this little space, mobs spawn because it's the only option. Okay, that torch will help us quite a bit there. There's probably all kinds of mobs all over the place. Probably all over inside my house. Of course not. I did light it up really well. But they are down there and stuff. Oh well, that's fine. What were we getting? Okay, we're getting another water bucket. There we go. So that's fine. We can patch this hole up again. Because, see, then we can stand here and hit the mobs that fall down. We'll just make a water source up there. Oh, man. According to my timer, this video is really long. Well, I guess it's a special length video to a... Hey, look, we already got a mob up here. Because I think we to drill in. Alright. It's a special length video to uh, specialize in the mob grinder. So now we need to make a water, infinite water source, so that we, uh... So that we, uh, can... There we go. We need to fill in these water spots. Do do do, see? They go line up right up there, it's all beautiful and nice. Just like that. Oh, uh, let, let's not... Let's not fall in, though. That would kill us at our current state and damage our armor. Okay. 
Excellent. So now the mom said, uh, uh, uh. Mm. Beautiful. Okay, let's patch this up. I'm suddenly scared of mobs coming in. Yeah, and we have tons of cobblestone left over. What was I talking about? We can put all that back in here. We don't need it anymore. Yeah, that saves me time for grinding this episode. Kind of. It just means that I'll have more left over at the end. But, uh, we have to destroy the torches so that things will spawn in. Dude, okay, I'm just going to leave that one off next time. Oh, so the water will still last there. We just have to put the... Uh, well, that was... Okay, now let's let's stand on the... Okay, there we go. And then we break these torches. We should go to the bottom and get some mobs spawning actually pretty quickly in. We have to be at the bottom, otherwise we're too close for them to spawn, probably. Oh, and then I need this filled in. Okay, and I didn't bring enough blocks to do this efficiently. There we go. Alright, so now... This one is funny that that's the one we have to go down. Uh, do I have another slab? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, give me the slab. There we go. Now we're good. Let's go down to the bottom and uh, wait a few seconds. I'll do my outro while mobs are spawning. Thanks for watching episode 7 of World Expansion. I need to light stuff up down there so they stop spawning. We built a mob spawner. I'm pretty sure it will work, but it might take a little while to like be efficient. And this is close enough to our house, too, that it should uh, like just go while we are, you know, doing things. Leave a like, uh, especially if you want to see more of these. It's been pretty consistent so far, so just keep leaving likes, and I'll keep making these. It's a mutual, mutual relationship there. Subscribe if you haven't already. I do these as often as I, I can. Usually at least every other day will be another world expansion, and then there's others mixed in there. Also, check out StarCraft videos. I'm going to be doing more of those, too. So if you haven't already, look at that and tell me what you think. Um, there we go. One hit. We got a mob spawner. Thanks for watching. See you, see you all later.